Face it, you're outclassed! Impossible! My body has degenerated this far! It's you humans! We did it! Jeebus is no more! Arietta? Open your eyes! Arietta? Wayne... She's... She's... She's become so cold... Wake up, Arietta! We defeated Jeebus! You have to wake up! <sighs> Arietta... Please... Wake up... Face the reality of the situation. There was no choice. We had to destroy Jeebus. As an unfortunate consequence, Arietta became a sacrifice. She must have known that her spirit would not return to her body. So. so she's really. no. I didn't want to admit that I couldn't save her. But as time passed, her body turned colder, her limbs more rigid, her beautiful eyes would never open again. After all I resolved, I didn't have the power to save her, and the painful truth of that fact was too devastating to acknowledge. Consoled by my companions, I was able to accept the tragedy of Arietta's death and we buried her with a solemn service at the base of the control tower. While levitating, the tower had been moved by prevailing winds or some other force. It had landed in a different place from where it left, and it was now in Bernstein Kingdom. Coincidentally, next to the grasslands where I first met Arietta. Wayne. <sighs> Come on, cheer up. This isn't like you. I know it's not easy, but we have to move forward to formulate a plan of action. Despite everything I know, everything I was taught, 
I, I couldn't save her. She died right before me, and I was completely powerless to help her. Wayne, you can't blame yourself. This was not your fault. I know that, but I... Do you really think that you can save everyone and everything you love? If that truly is the case, you're destined for a life of bitter disappointment. Riviera... Wayne, we all have limits. You have to learn when to let go. I... I feel your pain more deeply than perhaps you know, because I entered the Shadow Knights with the same kind of idealism. You did? Yes, but I soon came to understand that the value of lasting peace is to be prized above all else. If some small evil must be performed in the service of peace, that is the moral price that must be paid by servants of good. Hmm. My intent from the beginning was to be the best at what I do in the service of others. But that idealism strays from the dusty path of reality. It's sad, but accepting that is a step toward growth. You can't blame yourself for this unfortunate footnote in the service of peace. Trust me, I know. Because you carry the same burdens? Right. And I'm telling you, as a friend, let it go or it will consume you. We need to focus our efforts on those yet suffering at the hand of evil that we can save. Do you see what I'm saying? <sighs> I suppose you're right. Thank you, Riviera. Wayne, your friends are worried about your state of mind. You should go to them and let them know you're alright. I shall. Hmm. Friends. It seems that Wayne has had an effect on me as well. His spirit is strong. I just pray he survives this.